Jonas to the first year and bring you my prediction of Shakur Stevenson versus Wilkinson from Seisha. Um I think it's just, Shakur Stevenson's going to destroy him, to be honest with you. Um, uh, Robson Pinsatia, he's a, a fighter that likes to move, he's mobile, he likes to box, you know, he's slick in there. So that's something that um, Shakur, you know, will have to deal with. And I don't know, is it the slickest fight that Shakur's ever fought as a pro? Yeah, he probably is. But at the same time, Robson Pinsatia, um, not that he's a punching bag or anything like that, but his defense is quite leaky. You know, he often has a tendency of getting caught in between punches. In his last fight against uh, Xavier Martinez, he got wobbled in the third round with a left hook, I believe. Um, Oscar Valdez was catching him with some left hooks and right hands in between as well. And in this fight against Luis Correa, you know, he's not really a uh, world-level fighter that at all. You know, he got dropped and hurt badly with the left hook in, what was it, the second round, third round of that fight. And he got caught a lot in that fight against Luis Correa. You know, he got caught with the left hook a lot. So... It seems like Robson Kinsensha is very vulnerable to um, the left hand. And I think the song with like Shakur's hand speed, timing, you know, um, you know, um, very good uh, judging of distance, he'll be able to catch Robson Kinsensha with left hands all night long. You know, I don't think the fight will be that competitive really and truly. I think Shakur Stevenson will destroy Robson Kinsensha, to be honest with you. That's what I think. Because going life and death with someone like Luis Correo, it was a great fight. It was I, I enjoyed it, but going after death for someone at that level, getting dropped, you know, and I had Korea winning that fight. Truth be told, it's not really a good look, especially going against someone like Shakur Stevenson. And yeah, he did beat Oscar Valdez, but didn't get the decision. But <clears throat> Oscar Valdez has never looked great, never looked that good against fighters that use movement. You know, Oscar Valdez doesn't cut off the ring. Oscar Valdez doesn't move his head on his way. He just what Oscar Valdez really does. That he comes forward behind a high guard and that's really it to be honest with you he doesn't really look good when he's on the front foot it looks quite basic it looks better when he's off, off on the back foot you know like it was against <coughs> uh miguel bachel you know so obviously someone like robson Kinsasha, you know would have been able to have a lot of success moving in boxing because oscar Valdez never looks that good coming at guys you know he always looks better when guys come at him you know so i feel like i feel like shakur seems to just be able to catch my left hands all night long, we'll be able to tag him a lot, like in Jamal Herring, you know, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's going to be a decision or a stoppage. Um, it could be a one-sided, unanimous, unanimous decision in favour of Shakur Stevenson, or it could be, you know, a one-sided beatdown um, <laughs> um, turned into a stoppage like it was against Jamal Herring. Um, she, Robinson can say Shao's chin isn't the greatest um, either. I think even before the career fight, he got dropped before as well. You know, I think he's been dropped a couple of times in his career. Um, Conseysha. And he got hurt in his last fight as well by Xavier Martinez. So, you know, I'm not sure Shakur will be able to put him down. And I'm not 100% sure that Shakur will be able to stop him. But I wouldn't be surprised if he did stop Conseysha. Because Conseysha's chin, like I said, is not looking the greatest, to be honest with you. He was able to sit Oscar Valdez's shots in all fairness. But other than that, I've seen other fights. And, yeah, he doesn't. His chin doesn't look the greatest, you know, so I think Shakur will take this. And also, how many samples has uh, Conseysha fought as a pro? I'm not sure how many he's fought as a pro, in all, in all honesty. You know, maybe in the amateurs, he did fight a lot. He did fight Vasily Lomachenko. He got a win of Lomachenko, and then he got overturned. <laughs> you know, like, when the fuck does that ever happen in amateur boxing? That never happened, you know. So, but yeah, I think Shakur's got this in the bag. Um, unless Shakur comes in there with a cocky mentality since Oscar Valdez win and it makes the fight more complicated than it needs to be, then yeah, Contesha could give him problems. But if he comes in there uh, dedicated like he usually does, then I think Shakur should be able to take this um, quite easily, to be honest with you. So anyways, that's the, uh, it's the first. That's my prediction for Shakur Stevenson and Robson Contesha. Put what you think is going to happen in the fight down below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Yeah.